work and kinetic energy. Let us assume that a constant force moves a body of mass m along uh, an x-axis without friction, a distance s, so that according to Newton's second law, we we'll have that fx is equal to max. As the body moves along this place, it will change the velocity from initial velocity to the final velocity. So if we use v final velocity squared along x axis is equal to initial velocity squared plus 2 times acceleration along that axis times x. So that uh, when we rearrange, we have that uh, vx squared minus v naught x squared is equal to axx. So that uh, we can have that if we divide by 2 and multiply by m, we we'll have that half m vx squared minus half m v naught x squared is equal to m a x x if we do it on both sides so that uh, we know that this is a final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy is equal to this guy is f force along this x axis times uh, x you see that the left hand side shows a, a change in kinetic energy of the body where the right hand side shows to the work done on the body change in kinetic energy is equal to work done or f dot x if you like so what it is basically telling us is that the change in kinetic energy of a particle equals to the net work done on the particle or we can the final kinetic energy is equal to the sum of the initial kinetic energy and uh, the work done. This equation is the work kinetic energy theorem. So as an example, we can say that, uh, that the velocity of a particle moving along the z axis, let's say y x z, moving along the z axis changes from a uh, minus 6 meters per second to minus 2 meters per second and b from minus 3 meters per second to 3 meters per second to 3 meters per second we can be asked to see uh, if you like is the work done is the work done in each case positive comma negative or zero so for this first one we know that this is uh, the initial velocity this is the final velocity initial velocity final velocity so let's take the first one a if we take the first one and uh, we use the work energy theory formula kf minus ki is equal to work done we can say that half into minus 2 squared minus half m into minus 6 squared is equal to w so what we will get is that uh, this is 4 4 divided by this 2m minus this is a uh, System is that 6 divided by 2, 18 minus 18m is equal to w, so which means that minus uh, 16 joule is equal to w, so it is a negative work. But the next one, the initial velocity is a uh, half, uh, the final velocity is half m3 squared. Mm -hmm minus initial uh, kinetic energy half m minus 3 squared is equal to w so what it means is that we are going to 
now see that uh, this is 9 over 9 over 2m minus this is also 9 9 over 2m is equal to work this is this minus this is 0 that means that no work or zero work is done then there can be another scenario where you have that uh, for instance let's assume you are pushing a fridge in your house you are two pushing it one person is you want to push it this way and this one is pulling is pulling it while this one is pushing it at an angle to the horizontal 40 degrees you can be asked to find the total work done on this fridge so all you have to do is to do a, a free body diagram where the you can couple the forces you see that the one pulling is this one f pull if you like at the uh, 30 degrees why this one is pushing so it will go this way at 40 degrees so you are going to get the force the constant force that is in actual direction of that fridge this is your fridge if you like so you are going to get the actual force that is so for this one this one is f push if you like f push that means that what you are now going to do is to find the work done the work done by f pull let it be a one the blue one while the work done by f push let it be w2 so it means that your total work done will be w is equal to w1 plus w2 so and the force that will push it this way is this component this component so this one will be f pull uh, constant why this one will be f push constant so the distance let's say the distance that this thing is moving is around uh, let's say 14 meters 14 meters for instance and the weight of this fridge is uh, or the mass of this fridge is 250 kg if that is so so what we are going to do now is to say for this first one we are going to do f like i said this component is f pool cause that times the distance moved mm -hmm. plus for the W2, we have F push uh, cos 40, cos 40 times the horizontal distance moved. So if we do that and substitute, what we will get is uh, equal to, let's say that the pull, the force that uh, this guy is pulling with is 13 Newton, and the force that this guy is pushing with is uh, 14 Newton. So if that is the case, and uh, you are able to identify them in your problem, then you are good to go. So it's 13 times constant is uh, 0 0.866 times 14 plus F push if it's 14, mm -hmm, cause uh, 40, cause 40 is around 0 0.766 times 14 so if you do the math you get this equal to 157.62 joule while this one is 160 point around 87 joule so the person pushing is pushing it with about 160.87 joule while the person pulling is a uh, pushing with this transferring this energy to the fridge why this person is transferring this energy to the fridge so the total energy transferred to the fridge in order to move it from where it was to 14 meters maybe to the exit door is um, 318.5 joule so that's exactly how to do this things so please uh, subscribe and click on the notification button so that whenever we post new videos, you see it. Bye.